Hello, welcome to the 10th episode. I'm Kraxo and today I made a little tower as you can see from coal. I want to have a bit of coal just so I can, you know, make torches because this episode I want to go to the nether and get me some, you know, netherite netherite templates and so on. But before that, yes, before that, I need to get wool, a lot of wool for the beds. And I talked about it and yeah, I want to make a, a wool farm. I've got a design in my head and I'm still not sure where I should put it. Well, I don't want to have it too far away from there, but da -da 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 -da. somewhere there is gonna be the creeper farm. This is the pit. I'm gonna call it the pit, cause it's a pit, the abyss. Da, 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 da. I mean, I can make a little building right around here. Yeah, that would look fine. I will make it more, you know, underground focused. And I don't want to have it right under inventory there. This should do it for the intro and <laughs> let's go fortune it. Da, 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 da. And it's gonna be a time lapse. And we're done. <laughs> well, that's a healthy amount of coal. And yes, I know I can use the bamboo to power the, you know, smelters to get charcoal from the trees. But still, I don't really want to make it right now, but yeah, I know about it. Maybe a bit later when I'm gonna make the general tree farm, maybe then I can use that. Yeah, I've got tons of stone. I'm using stone for a lot of markers. <laughs> I've got so many stones that it's a cheap alternative to uh, wool right now, at the very least for me. Firstly, I want to know which chunk I am, because the thing is, I want to always build inside the chunk, so when I unload the chunk or when I'm going away, the hopper minecarts from the collecting systems are not deloaded or are not somewhere stuck, you know? That's why I want to have farms compact inside one or at most four chunks, but still, having it in one chunk, I I mean all the redstone pieces is always the best solution for the most part. Okay, I'm gonna build a building here a bit later, but this is the template of the farm and around the farm I'm gonna make the building. As we can see golems are burning, we've got tons of iron, so that's at the very least the least of our worries. We can see the bee, we can see the bee. I'm so happy about the bee, it's so cute. Hello, as you can see. I'm using night vision potions and I'm looking for redstone. I'm in the deep slate layer and I found a spawner, a zombie spawner. What do we have here? Wait, I light it up a bit. Something good? Not really. A saddle? I don't really need more. A second disc? Nice. Well, <laughs> I don't really need anything. I just wanted to show to you guys that I did find a spawner a bit late. Whatever, right? I don't care. <laughs> As you can see, I still have three potions and I want to just up the reserves of the, you know, redstone. I don't really care about the deep slate or anything else. That's why I'm not even mining it. Hello, I finally came out from the depths. And as you can see, I've got me over a stack of redstone and I've got two discs, one from the dungeon and one from a skeleton which killed a creeper, which uh, came creeping onto me. So yeah, I got a bit lucky. Nice. The rest, the diamonds I can use for the smithing plates and for the copying. I just need some redstone for the observers. I built a whole farm. But it's not working. <laughs> ah, typical mistake. The rates are really bad, so I'm gonna create a new farm on wheat, of course. But for that, I'm gonna need one observer per sheep. For an observer, I need uh, six pieces of cobble, one piece of redstone, and two pieces of quartz.
Am I procrastinating? Nah. Me? Procrastinating? Nah. <laughs> yeah, probably a bit. Uh, one more thing, sometimes the neighbor's dog wants to barking even though there is no one there, so yeah, you gotta deal with it sometimes in the recordings. As for the farms, both of them will be in the description. The first farm is by Ianxo4 and the second one is by Trilomps, but on the second one I did my own spin because <laughs> Yeah, in reality, I don't even know where the design came from. And the best tutorial for it is from Trilomps, but I still messed up a bit. <sighs> you will see it a bit later. This is gonna be the design for the farm, and it's gonna be compact, it's gonna be in the chunk, and after that I'm just gonna make a big sheep head or something. And I'm gonna make the collection system so here is gonna be the farm and the entrance to the storage I can make from here, right from the bottom. So I can just go there, pick up the wool straight up from the filters and so on. And I don't like me my sheep so I'm gonna use all black stained glass even if I know I could use a better color. I don't care. The sheep does not deserve it. That's how I keep my rockets afloat, but I want to make the creeper farm too. I finished up setting up the workstations, so let's move on our first worker to his permanent workstation. Yay! Up, oh, yep, that's the way. Right click on the sheep. That's how I get them inside. I just get the lead back, then I'm gonna close it up. After that I'm gonna open this side up and put a fence gate. And that's what I'm gonna do with everyone. The reason being is I want to have the access to the sheep uh, when I'm gonna re -dye them all. Because right now I'm gonna uh, put here all 16 sheep and then uh, re -dye them. Because I want to have a uh, sheep each color. Come to Papa. Yes. Yes. Nice. This is what I don't want to do because just like this, you come here because it's more nerve wracking. They are gonna be jumping. And the last four of the sheep, I'm gonna just jack from there. Come on. Yep, nice, finally. Okay, oh, the sheeps. Still better than villagers. Yep, because villagers are a literal nightmare. Plump. This is gonna be your new home for eternity. Eternity and beyond. At the very least, they can see their neighbors every single waking moment. Oh, I'm destroying the glass. Or whatever. Two, three, four. Okay, see? How easy. Come with me on the journey. The bigger problem for me is gonna be finding every kind of die and die them all. Still, that's Cracksor's problem for tomorrow, not today. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not even sure anymore. Come with me, little boy. We're going on to an adventure. I don't want you to die or fall. Yes, come here. Yes, good boy. You can come here, right? Yes, you can. You're a good boy. Good girl. Kids, beware of strangers. Don't follow them like the sheep do to me. 
unconditional following. Oh my god. Well, at least it's funny, right? <laughs> okay, last one. Lasto. And that was easy. Wait a bit. It was at this moment Kraxa knew. He messed up. Wait a bit, wait, 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 wait. Something does not sit right with me. Yeah, redstone. It works, but why does it not shear them? Did I really mess up the redstone again? Ten minutes later. But it taken the signal. Goodness gracious. <gasps> no, I'm stupid. I understand. I found a mistake, so yes. Right now I need to put the observer there, but to observe the block, as you can see, I placed it the other way. Facing the other way. <laughs> oh god. Crackso, crackso. No. Yes. At the very least, this time I only needed like two minutes to find a mistake. Still is an embarrassing mistake. After that I moved the redstone so I can get the signal to the dispensers too. Directly under the ship I made myself four trails and they are gonna serve for the hopper minecart collecting system, which is in turn gonna be connected directly to the item sorter. Well, this here is gonna be the entrance, so we can slowly start to dig out the whole area here. I'm gonna come back here after a shortcut. But before that, a uh, six times sped up footage of a little bit. Okay, after a bit digging, as you can see, this is gonna be the top layer where I'm gonna set up an item collecting system for the Hopper Minecart. It's gonna be exactly the same as we used in the second video of the pickup system for the melon and pumpkin farm and the same thing with the bamboo and sugarcane farm. As for the item collecting system, it's gonna be exactly the same as with the honey and honeycomb farm. And that's the reason why I won't be showing the whole process here. Still, I'm gonna be using composters uh, placed on top of the hopper line to reduce the lag. Because even if I put a full block on top of it, it still can suck up the items. But when I have a composter there, it's just gonna be safe. So no more items gonna be sucked up and yeah, it reduces lag a lot. Lag a lot, lag a lot. And as you can see here, the pickup system is working and ready. Nice. Well, hello. As you can see, I'm here downside. I'm gonna make the storage system unit for all eight. I prepared a bit of materials in the meantime. Some of them I already had. Glass chest is gonna be an all flow chest. Oh, creeper. Come on. Gotcha. No. Yep, finally. Oh, what's this? Wait, I heard a witch. A witch here? No. Wait. No. No, I can only say R.I.P. Wait, those look like skulls. Oh my. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like this. <laughs> uh, in loving memory. I did not think my villager would turn into witch. I don't even know why. Is it the mechanic? I'm not sure. Come on. Okay. Well, back to business. We'll see us a bit later. I still need to dig a lot. <laughs> and I want to decorate it a bit. So I'm gonna, you know, show it to you all a bit later when it's all already done. Okay. Okay. Good.
uh, those two chairs uh, power the rails for the pickup system, as you can see. I just did an S, so it goes way wow, 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 bang. And from here it jumps back and to the collecting system and as you can see I'm already getting a bit of the wool. The system for the item sorter is gonna be the same as at the bee farm as you can already see. Here will be another hopper which will be checked but I still need the filler sticks and so on so I won't uh, pair it up right now. I still need to dig and I'm gonna do it you know besides. Okay this should be it. I'm gonna see you a bit later. Huh? Spider? <gasps> what was that? Oh, you sneaky, sneaky one! Oh, you sneaky, sneaky one! How do I kill him? From the outside. Man, the creepers are <laughs> literally creeping in. Goodness gracious, thanks God for the carpet. Literally, thanks God for the carpet. Okay, uh, I'm gonna right now prepare the dice because as you can see, this is the filter system I've got set up for the most part. I just need to use the hoppers, the filler sticks and yeah i need the dice to die the sheep so yeah that's gonna be right now my journey to find out some of them i got light blue i got those white brown pink and many more okay this is gonna be off camera so yeah because uh, right before a spider came i killed him then I pressed recording because I heard another spider so I thought uh, yeah I'm gonna show you how he comes through the door but no there was a sneaky 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 creeper door uh, there. Guys, girls, I've got all of the dice. I was quite lucky in this encounter and all of them were at my base. <laughs> so you can say I'm a pro hoarder. The first thing before dying the sheep I need to deactivate the whole system because when they are shared, I can die them, so yeah. As you can see, I've got each of the dice, so I'm really happy about it. Last two sheep, which gonna be it? I'm gonna bet on the bottom one, you know, this one. This one is gonna be the last one. Come on. Ah, I lost, I lost. Okay, I'm going slowly down. I don't care. I know I'm gonna die everyone. Two, three, and four. Okay, you're gonna be green. Gonna be brown. You're gonna be orange, you're gonna be yellow. Last ones. Green. Cyan, blue, light blue. Oh, Eureka. It needed way too long time. I found out why the villager turned into witch and it was because of a lightning strike. I mean, it's all just provisional, but I don't want to lose another one. I mean, come on. I will still need to decorate this. But it is functional at the very least. Okay, right now I'm gonna show you how to prime the hoppers. You put the filler sticks and then as you can see the items which are gonna go from the hopper line are gonna go straight down. And then after filling up till 41 every excess item will go right down. But only the item which is uh, the one item from the 41. So if you have a uh, black wool, it's gonna be only black wool going down the hopper. And the same thing I gonna do for every type of wool. So that's the item sorting system. After being AFK for a bit, I've got enough wool to not only decorate the whole, you know, area, but even enough wool to prime the system. 
Okay, right now you can see how I color coded me all of the chests and from the hoppers it's gonna go exact that color right down. So yeah, that's how you can just mark sometimes the items which gonna go into the chests. Okay, and then after that you can see it's going into the right containers. And this is the view from the stairs as it currently looks like. And this is the thought process in my mind as you can see right now. <laughs> oh man. Yep, it's cute. But no, thanks. I can't. I'm too tired. What I'm doing right now is not what I should be doing. But sh what should I be doing? I already forgotten. Oh yeah, I want to go to Nether. I need to wool. I wanted to make beds. We are already way too deep into the vid, so no, I won't show you how I made the door. I made it totally wrong in the first place. I'm still not sure how to make a functional piston door. I'm gonna learn it sometime, but for now I will gonna need a tutorial, but you know what? I somehow made it functional. I don't know how, but I don't care. <laughs> for real. This is crazy, but okay. As you can see, I can only power on one side. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is crazy, stupid and funny at the same time. I'm too tired to think about it even. I think I'm gonna go to sleep today sooner. Normally I would be still up for another three hours, but nah, this is killing me. Today I had a really busy day, as you can see I have even road <laughs> stone outside. Well then, I'm gonna see you after the cut or after a few hours. Well, hello again! I can finally come here and take down the two signs here, because even if I don't have a village breeder, I can just use, you know, that thing back there. More or less. The iron farm and the bee farm are done and busted. Bamboo farm is finished. Wood farm, I can say that uh, <laughs> bamboo can count as that. And for the general wood farm, for the few basic types, I will make it a bit later. Chicken farm, I don't really need. <laughs> and sugarcane farm is done. This sign is for the night vision, so I remember the recipe. I was caving a bit. And as for the blaze rod and the popcorn fruit, I can make... Like this, and rods. And if I want to get uh, this popcorn fruit, I just have to go and smelt a bit of fruits. For, uh, um, yeah, those. And those I get when I place a cross flower. Yeah, here, and stone. Okay, but that's not the thing which I wanted to do. Firstly, I want to show you. Oh, they need to be stripped. Okay. Because I want to make these hanging signs. Because as you can see here, back here, this building, it looks okay, but it's still not finished. I want to decorate it a bit better, but still I'm not sure how to do it. I know I can just make something like this. The floor here is gonna be changed for something else, but not right now. I want to make s some little work on detailing, as you see. I did some parts here and there, bob some pieces. Still, it's not the best thing I could have made, but not the worst thing either. <laughs> Hidden end rods. I mean, they make a little bit of the build light up a bit, so yep. And yeah, I still have honey with me, so I can just, you know, come when I can, and when it's weathered at the right level, I just use it. Still, I will terraform the area a little bit. As you can see, <laughs> redstone outside. I didn't know how to make the door. 
So I'm not really exactly happy with it, but whatever. I mean, come on. Do I make it like this? I mean, why not? And this area for the wool. I finally got some harvest. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. That's why you always have a chest for, you know, the other things which can sometimes fall into the system. You have to foolproof it. I didn't decorate it absolutely and perfectly. I mean, come on. I'm a guy who's not really good at interior design and this is too white. So it's a bit tricky to make it look good. Because I'm stupid and I always have to make things symmetrical. Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. At the very least, as you can see, I'm finally done. And I can use the wool for the, you know, beds. So I can finally go into the nether and get me some netherite. Some ancient debris. Oyreka. I only need like 12 hours to do all that. I'm crying, but whatever. Guys, girls, this should do it for this episode. I was way too tired already. And as for this build, as you can see, I used a lot of parts for it from this house, like the bricks and the design. I have made no windows, which can make it feel a bit awkward. The overhangs are similar to that one. Spoiler alert for the next episode. <laughs> Uh, they were at least the beginning. And yes, I'm sorry I didn't show the process of building the storage system. As you can see, it's finally done. It looks great. It's giving me the wool I need. I did make some more details onto it. So yes. Thank you for watching this episode. We're gonna go to the nether at the next episode as we are already ready for that. <laughs> We've done most of the preparation work. So yep. The next episode, the first five minutes are gonna be something of a recap of the preparation and after that we are gonna go netherite mining! Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm definitely not procrastinating this build. <gasps> definitely not. <laughs> okay. Guys, girls, stay healthy, keep watching, we're gonna see us at the next episode and enjoy. Bye!